again. Are you okay? Great, just fine. I can tell no one ever taught you how to fight in a dress. Uh, well, no. In fact... <laughs> Probably a boy. You can't just not fight because you're not dressed prop care to spar. Of course, I'd love to see this technique of yours. between two people in dresses, and the one who likely has more training is winning. A dress is not your problem. It's that particular dress that trips you up. Your dress extends past your feet in places. Very fashionable, I'm sure, but the heart and... It's too tight around your hips. It restricts me. I would cut a slit up the side. It'll free up your legs. Uh, thanks. Oh, looks like we have company. Remember what I said next time you get into a fight. Hey, Ash! What on earth possessed you to- Nothing much. Just wanted to- By yourself? There was another girl here. A young- <laughs> Scared her off, did I? didn't want to have- How did you find me so- Someone saw you heading towards the stairs. I thought you might have been coming to find me. I- Horses like him about as much. There's something to be said of a man who cannot earn the trust of a horse. That boy- Come, Zachariah, do not fret so. It will give you wrinkles. I already have enough of those. A few more certainly won't hurt.
Frudens. Uh, yes? How did your mother handle the news that you were required to stay? Oh, um, well, let's just say she wasn't pleased. I imagine so. It's difficult for Celeste to keep a mage for too long. Too many students are imbued with wanderlust after so long in this region. Yes, it's quite the problem for our kingdom. Which is unfortunate, given how many full mages arise from Celeste. I'd say easily a tenth of our students originate from there. That many? You do not know this about your own kingdom, girl? How exactly do you expect to rule without knowing such basic things? Tell me, can you even name your primary exports? I've been focused on my mage studies. I will have the chance to study what I need to know to rule while acting as court mage for my mother. She had me when she was very young. She, she has many years left. Unless she dies, like your grandmother. Zechariah, my love. That is enough. How do you know so much about Celeste? Did you not know? Zechariah is among the many mages born in Celeste. You are? Yes. It's a large part of the reason I have so much concern for its future. sure how he came about a chocolate mint liquor, but I feel that donating it to our ladies' night would be a noble sacrifice. I don't think I'm up for a ladies' night. Ash, you know this is going to get better. We'll find your pair. I'm not sure I want to. Look, for tonight, just don't think about it. Think about me and you. Think about best friends. Spending time together. A night with just us would be great. <laughs> what? No, no. This is not helping. Is there anything else I can do to improve your mood? Could you bring me pasta and cheese? I... um... I... Yes, of, of course, Ash. Ask that you prevent me from pursuing it, because I am quite convinced that walking that path would. O I don't think you could get much worse than you already are, Heck. I, but if they, I mean that quite literally. Have you considered asking the heads? They are skilled, but they would not know. Sure, Heck. We can help with keeping you sane. Besides, no. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Head Zachariah. Hector requires students who are as of yet unpaired in order to attempt to replicate the spell of the pairing ritual. While I understand the circumstances of your own pairing are far from normal, Miss Ashmar, I remind you of our policy regarding performance of the pairing ritual. Of course, had Zachariah, but with sanctions from the head, a ritual might be performed outside of that of the yearly. For example, when you allowed Hector to conduct his experiments two years ago. Or, 17 years before, when you permitted the surviving mages of the war between Laska and Demetrius to attempt to find new pairs. This situation is far different, child. Both times before, we were suddenly possessed of far more unpaired mages than we knew how to handle. In fact, 
Outside of staff and students not yet fit to graduate, every soul in this mountain has a pair. Yourself included. The fact that I am included is why you must permit us to conduct this experiment. How? We have no one qualified to perform the ritual, even were we to sanction it. Should we allow a student, incomplete in their training, to perform the ritual? Yes. The chance that a student could successfully pair outside of a proper graduation ritual is minute. We know this from history. Not a single one of Hector's previous experiments produced a pair, and even the ritual performed 17 years ago produced only a single viable pair. You speak well, Miss Ashmar. I had expected the princess to speak on behalf of her pair. As heir apparent, she should excel at such things. You will play a fine Shadow King as her court mage. You will be allowed two students to assist in your experiment. Remedial students. You may instruct them in any manner you wish, Mr. Warlock. They may assist, as long as Mr. Warlock uses his considerable abilities to ensure they are prepared to graduate before the next pairing ritual. Are you not concerned that my experiments might pair them? <laughs> I assure you, that's far from a concern with these two. Thank you. This means a great deal to me. Do not thank us until this actually proves useful, Miss Ashmar. I will have you know that while I will support my wife, I... No. Never mind what I was saying. I believe we will find the answer to the riddle of your mark without this. I, however, am glad to provide Mr. Warlock with the poison with which to stain himself. If nothing else, it will keep him from bothering me. So this oatmeal, it's pretty good, right? Thank you for saying so. It's my first time cooking. Your first time cooking? Oh, yes. I'm an apprentice. Aren't you a little old to be an apprentice? Never too old to learn a new trade. Besides, I'm not that old. The oatmeal is good. Thank you. There's plenty more if you want seconds. I'd love some. Yeah. Now. Yes, but you're a little bit, uh... And that's boring as all hells. Let's not allow Hector's suggestion. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't worry, Heck. We've got plenty we can do. Are you sure you're okay? Please, can we not have that discussion? Ugh, this is simply tragic. Given all the business we had to deal with recently, it shut it. Apparently, we don't have a limited pace. So, what is your home like? Other than being a thousand feet in the air, it's pretty boring. So, what is your. Other than being a thousand. So, what is. What do you think of Hector, Elfnod? 
He is pretty incredible. It's a bit scary how skilled he is. Yeah, scary. So, do you think there's a chance that another Null like you could be up there and have accidentally paired with me? I don't really know, to be honest. I didn't get to ask before the topic kind of... I don't... I didn't get to ask before the topic kind of got derailed, but... <laughs> Which is a gender-neutral title? Ah, okay. Of course. That's so. You don't think Hector's a great mage, do you? I mean. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. You're serious, aren't you? Yes. What have you found? His behavior. His abilities. Not the magical ones, but. His physical abilities. Tell me more. I think you're wrong, Ash. How can you say that? Don't you see the signs? Look, I know everyone says I don't act like it, but I'm older than you, Ash. Heck, I'm older than heck. What you're doing right now is trying to find reasons to justify your dislike of him. If Heck were really a Grey Mage, he would have had to have been one since before he came here. I have trouble imagining a child harvesting the Sierra. And if he were a Grey Mage, I think the heads would have noticed when they used the Rod of Binding when they originally found him. See? Nothing to worry about. He's not a gray mage. He's just an insufferable sociopath. I'm going to do something more interesting now. So, did you figure out who she was? I think so. For now, we have to speak it's only at night. Do you have any information? Oh, and uh, good. I heard. Me too. I just... I like her. I'm going to bed. I should probably do the same. What's the... Why? What benefit would that provide us with? Why are you- I want to learn to- You- Why? I Necromancer- I Yes, where I taught you a thing or two about manners. I- I hadn't realized that was what that was. What- what was? Veronica here saw fit to strike me across the face. What? Why would you do that, Ash? Hector here had overstepped his bounds and ignored propriety. I merely reacted in kind. Ash, what in the name of all 17 hells makes you think you have the right to react like that? One, you know Hector is a bit... different. He can't help how awkward he is. Two, you attacked him. Unprovoked. At least not physically. I don't know why you would think that would ever be okay with anyone. You punched him to make him go to bed. And finally, three... That's different! How? It was for his own good! Do you understand? Do not presume to lecture me, Prudence. You may be my best friend, but I do not- No, 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 no. You are my best friend, so it gives me every single right to correct you. Especially when you're being a piking bitch.
So the first thing you need to do is practice a better stance, Ash. Also, as powerful as your blows were, a smaller, thinner blade would likely suit you better. Shut up, Heck. Okay. Another rot sucker here to waste the time of my recruits? I believe to waste their time, I'd have to be a bad fighter who was holding them back and trading somehow, and not someone who has trounced you. Twice. Whenever you open your mouth, Mr. Warlock, you seem desperate to give me excuses to kick you and your girlfriend out. Wait, why would you kick out Prudence? Wouldn't Ash and I make more sense? I... Light and shadows, Mr. Warlock, you are impossibly dense. Huh. I was expecting that confrontation to be more dramatic. I think she's as sick of you as I am. I'm sorry about that. Goddess, do not apologize. I don't want to see you roll over so easily. You likely could, if you were to ask him. I did not realize we had plans to train here this morning. Is Belinda expected? No, we aren't doing ritual training here. Just normal training. Hector. Would you? Ash? I would. No, don't go. Hector? No, please. Begin! Uh. Hector! I don't. But nothing serious. One of her ribs may. Did. No. No. It you. I don't. I'm trying to. You. I it's Ash. I I'll see. Let's. I, I shouldn't. <laughs> Why is a gray mage interested in us? Because it was hired to be. There's something about the heads you don't like, isn't there, Hector? They have trained every single living necromancer in Paladin who has ever stepped foot in the mountain. That means they have at one point personally known every single Grey Mage. It would be nothing for them to maintain contact with the Grey Mages. Judging from their behavior, it would not surprise me to see them hire one of their number to deal with a threat like you. No. No, that's not why I... take issue with them. But it's a solid theory. Then what's your explanation as to why a Grey Mage is after us? I don't believe it's following us. Or at least not us specifically. I am concerned that if it is following us, then it is following you. Well, that's terrifying. But a valid concern, Ash. Can we please discuss this while walking? <laughs> no complaints here. What do you do? <laughs> They must have been riding full tilt since the other day, even through- Let us pray they might continue that pace. We need a way to ensure we can escape that damnable gray mage. Find us now, shit- Don't- <laughs> Run! I will hold it off. Counter magic. Impressive. Countering magic you do not possess. Is he going to be okay? He'll be fine. Should we ride? Yes. What about Hector? None of us can handle a gray mage. If anyone can even survive, it'll be him. Now go!
We should be safe now. It's okay to stop for a bit. I'm amazed the horses lasted so long. I'll take credit for that. I'm still impressed by how receptive they were. Maybe your specialization will be animal healing. That wouldn't be too bad. Prude, are you okay? No. No. I'm not Ash. Shh. I don't know whether to be mad at you because your pair is a psychopath, or because your issue urged Hector to pursue it to his death. You don't know he's dead. He told me. He told me a million times. He told me he feared nothing more than having to fight a Grey Mage. He didn't flinch when facing the heads, but Grey Mages left him with this look in his eyes. I hadn't thought he feared anything until he talked about them. Ash. There were two. I know. I saw. Have you checked your mark? I haven't dared to take off my gloves since we started writing. You will know what happened the moment you look. I think we both know what happened. For a little while longer, I want to pretend. I'm sorry. I know. I know you never read any of this. I'm sorry. I know. So, where do we go from here? We continue to ride towards the castle. If the assassin is after Ash, we can better defend her there. If the assassin is after all of us because of our association with Heck, then they won't stop until we're all dead to cover their tracks. If it is the second and any of us survive, then it could be traced back to the heads? Exactly. And what if they're hunting us for another reason? What other reason? We assume it's because of Heck or Ash. But what if it has nothing to do with either? It would have been much easier for them to have attacked us while we were walking, but they didn't. They waited until it was absolutely clear that we were heading to Celeste. To clarify, they saw a force of mages heading to Celeste before they even tried to stop us. They are doing something in Celeste, and they are trying to stop us from stopping it. No! Mother! Goddess, first my pair, now my mother. So your mark is gone? She hasn't checked yet. I think you should deal with it now. Don't let it fester. I can't do it. Don't worry about it. Not right now. We should let the horses eat for a bit more, and then we have to ride. We cannot be caught out in the open. Hello, Miss Prudence. Good to see you again. Whereabouts are the Royal Guard? Dead. Dead? Grey Mage, where is my mother? She is holding court. The petitioners today were... Uh, many. You said a Grey Mage? Prudence, what happened? Where are the guards? I'm so glad you're okay. Veronica, tell me. What has happened to my daughter, and why do I have four mages in my court? Something didn't happen to the mountain, did it? The mountain stands last I saw it. We were attacked by gray mages on our way here. Two of them. After we were banished from the mountain. For completely understandable reasons that require more delicacy than a brief explanation can provide. Mostly because Hector, your daughter's pair, defied the heads and accidentally paired us. While that is rather succinct, 
I feel it does portray him in a poor light, without context. Yeah, and he was stronger than the heads, but not as strong as the Grey Mage, because one probably killed him while we were trying to get here. My beloved daughter, I am so sorry for your loss. But he may be alive. Your daughter doesn't want to check. Belinda, you do realize that you have an audience for everything you're saying, right? So? If someone is attacking the princess of my kingdom and her pair, that's... How does Prince always say it? President for war! Please, tell me what happened. Do you want me to tell her, Prude? So she lost her pair? We aren't sure yet. Prude refuses to remove her glove and check her mark. But we have very little hope of finding it still there. A single grey mage would appear to be a match and more for both heads. I'm so sorry, your majesty. It's my fault. Maybe. Maybe it's your fault. No. Even if you sit at the core of this, no fault lies with you. Curse the fates for being so cruel, but do not curse yourself. There are times where your own weakness may be at fault. But do not attribute all failure to it, lest you make yourself as weak as you imagine. Wow, that was so wise. <laughs> Thank you. I know this might not be the best time, but are you by chance interested in a pair of mages for your court? You're right, this is a very bad time. Sorry, your majesty. Believe me when I say we have the budget for a court mage and more. Very few mages wish to stay so close to the mountain, but that does not mean we cannot support them. Graduated early and we got a position as court mages! This week hasn't been a complete loss. Perhaps not for us, but please show some decorum. Oh, please. Until we see what's under that glove, Heck is as much alive as dead. I prefer to assume he's alive. Besides, I have a hard time believing that anything could kill a monster like him. Very optimistic of you. I'm sure my daughter would appreciate that confidence were she awake. No Grey Mage would dare attack a kingdom directly, so you are safe here. Now, as far as the state of the Hector Warlock... So her pair is a man that can stand against two Grey Mages. Either that, or he is a captive. Either way. I'm sure Prudence will be happy to hear of this when she wakes up. Please take these mages to the guest quarters and see that they receive baths and fresh clothes. I will stay with my daughter. Thank you, your majesty. You won't regret hiring us. We're so good we got kicked out. I'm not sure that's uh, actually an endorsement. Take care, your majesty. And thank you. It's good to see you again, Ash. I'm sorry about your mother. She was a good woman. You will find every accommodation here, whether you choose to stay as a mage of my court or not. Thank you. in the sky. It's good to see you. Oh, goddess. You smell like death. Is that the necromancy? No, just several days of harsh travel. I would love to catch up, but I have been traveling without sleep for more days than I can clearly remember. I would kill to just take a bath and sleep. Of course. I'll get you some food and be right back. But you better tell me more about everything. I've been dying to hear more since your last letter. 
I promise. What happened? Oh. Hey, Prude. You seem calm. No surprise. At this point, I really have no expectations of normalcy or peace. Is that a gray mage? I think so. What killed it? Spike through the neck. Looks like it severed the spine. Light and shadows. Yeah. Do we have any idea who did it? Hector? I don't think he's back yet. Looked under the glove? My mom did. Feeling better? Lots, actually. Oh, look! A body! Should I try to heal them? No, they're long dead. They must have been dead before sunrise. Should I try to reanimate them? So, we have yet another player in this. There were a larger than normal number of reports of murder through the Dome's court, your highness. This may be related. I'm not sure whether to be comforted or concerned that another group might be killing Grey Mages, let alone capable of it. Hey, if the other murders turn out to be Grey Mages, that would at least indicate they're not targeting you, but the kingdom. We should go tell your mother about this. Pretty sure she'll know before we find her. Before we do... We must be sure this is a Grey Mage. No, no, no. Not in my room. Let's do dissections elsewhere. Still hungry for breakfast? Starving, though I feel guilty about it. If a corpse isn't spoiling your appetite, then your stomach must have taken resonance in your head. So... you're hungry too? Starving. Ashley had some food before she ran away. Well, let's see if we can find her. Is he cute? Your partner, heck, I mean. He's cute like a puppy that's been dropped on its head a few too many times. I find him handsome. I will give him that he's incredibly smart in some ways at least. And like the puppy mentioned before in others. So do you think you or him is gonna be the new king? We have only been paired for a little over two months. I can't say if we're going to be wed, let alone who will assume kingship. It'll be her. He'd make a terrible ruler. His first day in court would result in war with every neighboring kingdom. Which, admittedly, he'd probably win. So, I don't understand magic. But doesn't it bother you that there's been so much killing? And there's all these people, apparently much more powerful than you, currently hunting you down? At this point, I think I've become mostly numb to it. You can only experience so much fear before things simply stop scaring you. It's like it hardly feels real. It just doesn't seem like that big of a deal anymore. Yeah, 
yeah, what she said. Well, that makes sense, but I know I'd be frightened. All these gray mages and whatever's getting them, it just all seems so high above me. I suppose, in a way, I should appreciate that. No reason to go around trying to kill servant girls if you're distracted trying to kill mages. No offense. None taken. You're right. Absolutely for the best. Well, I have to go back to my duties. You keep me up to date on what's going on and how I can help. I love you both, so don't go getting killed. Sure. We can do that. I slept really well last night. <sighs> yeah, me too. I missed beds. Sleeping was a nice change of pace. But what in the heavens killed a gray mage so easily it didn't even wake me up? I think it's most likely a group, but I already said as much. Still, what group is stronger than gray mages? Last I checked, they're the pinnacle of magical power. Gray witches? Gray witches? How many organs can you really fit in there anyway? At some point, you're just going to be a bloated ball of magically animated organs. You know, maybe whoever I paired with brought their group down here to find me? Or at least the source of the mark? And ran to the Grey Mages? Maybe they're in this kingdom. That's why the Grey Mages are here. It makes a sort of sense. I can imagine a Grey Mage drooling over the chance to gain another set of powers. A Grey Mage or Hector? Ugh! Don't compare him to them! Oh, there you are. The defenses here are rather poor against magical intrusion. Could I have another of your roses? Hector! What? figured out witch magic. It does rather strange things with your undead plants. How can you do witch magic? I, um, well, there's a long story behind that. What, did you cannibalize a witch? I wouldn't ever cannibalize anyone. However, I feel now would be an uh, appropriate Time to tell you, Prude. I am a Grey Mage. I knew it! I don't think anyone followed us here. Close the door- Wow, we've been back for a day and you're already back in- Not right now, Ash. I am a gray mage. My parents, I was born. My parents, they thought when I was born completely de They killed themselves. I have three hearts beating in my chest. How did you hide this from- I can easily suppress one of the pools of power. I can't really explain how I do it, but I have been hiding what I am since before I can remember. Is this why you hate the heads? No, I just... 
I feel that there's something wrong with them. Because you're a beacon of normalcy. I... I am not sure what you want me to say. Did you kill the Grey Mage? Do you mean at the inn? No, the man I fought I left crippled, though not dead. I... I am not sure I could take a life. Prude was referring to the Grey Mage found dead in my room this morning. No, I only just arrived. There's a dead Grey Mage? So there is definitely a third party involved. Is the cult here? Yes, we know at least one Grey Mage made it into the castle. We don't know why they're here or who killed them, but more importantly, back to you. How could you hide this from me? I... I have been hiding this, but now I believe that the time has come that I must share my secret. Goddess, what does it mean that I should be paired to a gray mage? I am still me. I promise you, I still care about all of you. I am still as tactless as I am powerful, and I still love... I love you, Prudence. I don't even know you. The worst part is that for once in my life, I have no idea what to do. I don't know how to even begin fixing this. I would have done anything to stop- I need to know about the Grey Mages. I am sorry. I don't know anything about the Grey Mage cult. I was an orphan child. Somehow I had instinct enough to hide my abilities. I can't say I have never tried to explore my powers, but I was always scared to go too far for fear of what they signified. And your witch powers? It appears that I was born with a witch's heart. When I had thought the battle lost, I found the rose you gave me. I'm not sure how it survived the beating I took. I remembered what Elfnod had said, and with a breath, I took in the life of that flower. And when I breathed it out, I call it Black Flame, because it was black and somewhat flame. The effect it had on the man who attacked me, his flesh dissolved like salt in hot water, though I left him breathing. Do you know why they are after us? No, not at all. Please tell me. What am I going to do? I wish I knew what to do myself. I meant with Prude. And still, I don't know what to tell you. I'm... I got rejected too, remember? She just needs some time to digest what you told her. How are you able to handle it? What, possibly being paired to a Grey Mage? I don't know. I suppose I just got used to the idea. You seem... more calm than that. Fine. Then I suppose I just don't care anymore. If what you say is true, then you likely suffered worse than we will from your abilities. And at this point in whatever mess we're in, all I want is more allies. I couldn't care less about your origin story. Thank you, I think. Um, uh, Prude said something about a dead grey mage. Come with me. I have never seen anything. Whatever did this is some- What makes you say that? Couldn't this have- No. Look at this. It's- Yes, it appears to have been a medallion. And it gave you lots of practice with your spell, right? So I'm supposed to- Me and Elf not have been doing that- I Hector, I can't lose you again. Not well, um... Healthy? Healthy? Well... Hector, I can't lose you again. Not so soon. I'll be fine. I was fine before, and I'll be fine again.
So, I'm guessing that he has some sort of tragic backstory behind his greyness. Well, given how readily you handled the Grey Mage, I would say they succeeded. You just don't want to admit that there's someone stronger than you. I'm just posing hypotheses. I don't. You just don't want to admit that there's someone stronger than you. I think I need to learn to stop talking. And yet, your mouth stays open. No, it's not that. I'm just scared to imagine something. Contact the magicians. We'll leave it to them to clean up the bodies. Now, go eat, and feel well. Again. I'm so sorry. You should be. The truth is, I haven't even thought about him in a long time. I was so young then. Gay? Yeah. I picked up on that after I confessed my love, and he had to expressly state it after- I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, at least you did- You're coming. I thought you didn't want to use this form of communication. Yeah, but your messenger bird is dumb, and they're closing in on her. Have you decided to do anything about it? I don't know yet. I don't know what side they're on in this fight. When I first met her... I might have thought she would have sided with us. But now? You've got to make your decision quickly. The cult is to close it. Don't you have any, any advice? No, I'm done. Please. Just trust your heart. It's one of the only good ones I know in... Why did you bring the rod of finding? Prudent. Please. The rod. You are the We have a two. And yet. I would have you explain. You. But. N some. Hey. We. Fuck with the That's what. Because, my dearest niece. We hired them. You. You stole my research! <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for all your research. I had never imagined how much more effective a golem crafted from wood could be until I saw your research into plants. I haven't quite gotten re- Now that we have the doors locked and- Golem, kill. We're related. Let me guess, that white spike monstrosity on top of your head used to be red? you do I took it I don't neither do I no no this is impossible The sword belongs to one of the Grey Mages we hired, you know. Luciana was smart enough to convince me not to bring. No. 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 No, no, no. Nothing is worth Lu- Come back. Come back. No. That was for prudence, you bitch.
screwed. Belinda. I thought I was going to be too late to save you. But now, you need to save your friends. How? Aren't you the paladin in our pairing? I felt that power. What? No, I don't have any powers like that. Spiraling stars, girl. Use the white magic you were using earlier with that plant. What? I don't know how to... Bring them over to Hector. What are you going to do? There's no way my powers will be enough to save her. Even if I can access the light, we'll have to replace the heart. Are you... I need you to break open his ribcage for me. Are you sure? Unless you know someone else with hearts to spare. What about the king? My best friend comes first. Please! Help! Please... Help her. Bring her over to Hector. Please, save her. Prudence. She needs... I already gave it to her. We need your necromancer heart to save Belinda. I can't be caught here. Not if I have any hope of stopping the cultists. The Grey Mages are still coming. You said in your message... We're not ready. No, not the Grey Mages. The Knights of the Blade. Who? I don't have time for that right now. I am not letting you leave until you tell me more. We are a pair. That means something. I'm starting to realize that. But we're about to have company. Take care. We'll meet again. Please, at least let me see your face. My name is Tara, though you may have known me as Cooking Boy, and, of course, the only female guard, and a few others. But for now, pretend I was no one. Not even here, if you can. I'm fine. She's gone. Oh. Hey, Ash. Go get some... Now. You know, I still... You know, We're just... We're just getting Elf not out for a stay. You know, I still haven't quite figured out how I made you. Thank you. We have to save the world! I'm here, under the tree. Uh, Golem. It's so beautiful tonight. The sky is so clear and the night so dark. Yeah. So tell me, 
Veronica. It marks us as... Yes, but that gives them... But my... Ma to be honest, I'm... Oh? All I am sure of... It's no surprise that most pairs become... D I don't like kissing up. What? What? And we can't simply offer you students who aren't prepared and stuff. As long as he can keep up. Hepeter. Hepeter. Now I'm just making up names. New characters. Hepeter. The 